Okay, where does the scent of a lady's perfume go? So this is number two. Hey, you can tell, excuse me, you can always tell which side is the hypotenuse because the legs, or A and B, are always right next to the right angle. Okay? The other thing you can, the other way you can tell which side is the hypotenuse or the C is the right angle points to it. See how the right angle sign actually becomes a pointer. And it will always point to side C. So when you put it together, you say, oh, I have A, and I can square it, plus do I have B? No. No, I don't. So there's B squared equals C squared. So 15 squared. 15 is one of those that you got to kind of keep in your chops. 15 squared is 225. 225. You're going to come up on that one all the time. Plus B squared equals 17 squared, 289. How do I get B squared by itself again? Isolate it by inverse operation. Inverse operation, subtracting 225 from each side. Good. We're adding negative 225. So B squared equals 289 minus 225, which is 64. <coughs> square root of B squared, square root of 64. So what's B? B equals, what's the square root of 64? A. A. So our missing side is 8 centimeters. Yeah, it is. That was a hard one. Okay, here, look at number eight. In number eight, it's a little different because they didn't really give you anything but a picture of a coordinate graph. So they said, oh, well, here it is. What is the distance from negative two, one, two, five, three? Well, they showed you the line. So what you have to do in that situation is, it's like slope. You have to draw the rest of the triangle. So in drawing the rest of the triangle, and I drew little squiggly lines here, I drew down four and over seven. So by doing that, I now have two legs of my right triangle, don't I? Because whenever we drew those those lines for slope, didn't we make a right triangle? So if I went 4, 7, what sides do I have? A, B, or C, or which two? A, B. A and B. So I have an A squared plus a B squared, and I want to find C squared. So what's 4 squared? No, it's not a game with a little red ball. Plus 49 equals C squared. 16 plus 49, what is it? 65 equals C squared. We're going to take the square root of each. And we know it's really close to what integer? Just a tiny bit more than what? What's the square root of 65 really, really close to? 14. 8. It's oh. going to be, it's because 64 is, a, the square root of 64 is exactly 8. So it's going to be 8 and just a smidge more. Okay? So it's going to be very close to 8. So it's approximately, so we go 8 with its, see the little, Equal signs that look like they were in really hot weather. You know how it's really hot oh, yeah. when you look ahead, it's kind of wiggly. Yeah. It's going to be like 70. Oh, because of pollution. Or, or heat waves. Yeah. So that's the kind of thing we're looking at.